fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains. In a country where acts of heroism were a daily occurrence, no one could match his courage. At a time when only the strong survived, no one could match his strength. He led the fight for justice on the frontier, and it was he more than any other man who blazed the trail for the winning of the West. Return with us now those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Tunnel's waiting for us in Grand Pass! We've got to hurry! I owe Silver! Away! <laughs> Perhaps the reason that Jasper Wellington never married was because his sly, sneaking, foppish nature made every woman in Pecos distrust him. He did, however, make a good, though somewhat dishonest, living as a lawyer and fixer. As our story opens, we find him seated at the breakfast table with his sister. A heated argument has reached its climax, and... It's none of your business, Celia, and I'll thank you to my and your own business. When folks have so much to say about you that it comes back to me, Jasper, it is my business. Folks lie. No, no, they don't. I've tried to overlook a lot of the things you've done. Tried to shut my eyes to the underhanded way you framed evidence to get crooks out of jail and send honest men to jail. I've tried not to believe the stories about the way you bribe and threaten and cajole everyone. But at last I see you as others do. All right, what are you going to do about it? Nothing, Jasper. It's you that'll have to do. You've got to leave Pecos. Who says so? You know who said so. Before the Lone Ranger left Pecos, he warned you to leave town. Ah... Very well, Jasper. Stay around if you want. He isn't anywhere near here. Or is he? Use your own judgment. It doesn't matter to me. Answer me. Do you know something, Celia? Let go my arm, Jasper. You're hurting me. I ask you a question. What do you know about the Lone Ranger? Please, my arm. I'm your brother. You owe it to me to tell me what you know. Now talk. Let go of me. Celia, you tell me what you know, or I swear I'll... All right, if you want to know. The Lone Ranger camped in Grant Pass last night. He did. How do you know? Missouri rode into town before you were out of bed this morning. Is the Lone Ranger on his way here? Missouri didn't say. You can decide for yourself. So he's coming back, is he? I suppose he's been trying to get some proof against me. Well, he can't do it. I'll show him. Just let him come to Pecos. I'll show him. Don't you want the rest of your breakfast? No. Wellington headed directly for the cafe. A boy was sweeping the floor of the porch as Wellington approached, and a couple of men were sitting on the steps. Hey, either you fellas seen anything, Osage? Yeah, he's inside, Wellington. Yeah, wonder what that coyote wants of Osage now. What was that you said? I called you a coyote, Wellington. You want to make something of it? Maybe I will. 
later on. <laughs> <laughs> He's still a coyote, huh? He sure enough is. Wonder what devilman him and Osage is going to scheme up now. Hey, you, Jack. Yeah? Can't you go inside and sweep where you'll kick up some dust into the face of Wellington and Osage? <laughs> I'm all done sweeping the porch anyhow. Now I've got to go inside and get that cleaned up. Now, mind you, Osage. The point's simply this. You go and get that man as he comes into town, or I'll turn what evidence I have against you over to the sheriff and let you get thrown into jail. You don't give a critter much of a chance, Wellington. Take your choice. I reckon you know I can send you to jail any time I want to. Dead wretch, you. You do get a man out in trouble with a law, you'll see to it you keep a plenty of evidence to hold over his head, don't you? This man is going to be coming from Grant Pass to Pecos. You can lay and wait for him on the edge of that old arroyo just outside of town. Yeah, I sure don't hanker to match gun speed with that critter, though. You don't need to. You mean dry gulch him? Of course. Knock him off the saddle before he gets a chance to see you. I wonder if that redskin will be with him. If he is, you can drop him, too. You can get two shots out before the Indian could get you. <coughs> Confound that dust. That blamed kid. Hey, you. Yes, sir? What's the matter with you, addle-headed fool? Haven't your brains enough not to sweep where men are trying to talk? But I've got to sweep, Mr. Wellington. That's how I earn my vittles. I don't give a hang about your vittles. You can starve for all of me, but you can't sweep while I'm around here. Now get. But, but Mr. Wellington... I said get. <laughs> you fetched the kid a pretty hard whack, Wellington. Well, what of it? What about it now? Are you going to do what I told you? Shucks, you don't give me no choice. Then you better get going. No telling how soon he'll be riding into town. Wellington, that Miss Tombry's as good as dead right now. Osage took up his post where the trail went through an arroyo and waited while the sun climbed high in the heavens and the day advanced toward noon. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, his faithful Indian companion, had spent part of the morning visiting with an old acquaintance near Grand Pass. They were late in starting on the last leg of their journey toward Pecos, but still they traveled slowly. Just as well, Tonto, to give our horses as much rest as we can. There's no telling when we'll have to call on them for a lot of action. Mm, that's right. I have an idea we may find trouble at Pecos. What? Trouble? I'd hope we'd come back with proof that Wellington is a crook. Oh. But we couldn't get that proof. Now what we do? We've got to find some way to drive him out of the district. He's more dangerous than outlaws. Him plenty bad. Him plenty smart. He's shrewd and crafty. He uses other men to carry out his crooked scheme. Not right. Even if the law does capture an outlaw, Wellington, with his knowledge of law and his scheming plans, makes it practically impossible to put the man in jail. You wait. Who's oh, 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 oh. oh. What's the matter, Tonto? Look, yonder. To the south. What is it, Kimosabe? Bird scared. Brush would move. What do you mean? Maybe fellow hide there. The brush is moving and there's no breeze. Isn't that right. I wonder what it might be. Maybe some small animal. We keep sharp look. The Lone Ranger and Tonto sat their horses watching intently, but they saw no sign of Osage hidden in the brushwood beside the trail. They were unaware that the grim barrel of a rifle was being pointed straight at the masked man's heart and that Osage was slowly tightening his finger on the trigger. Then suddenly, the shrill yell of a 12-year-old boy sounded the warning. Look out! Look out! You confounded kid! Look out! Help! Help! I'll kill you for this! Let go of that gun! Get away! Get away! Let's go! No, you can't Let do it! Let go of my rifle! I can't do it! I won't! I won't! I'll show you! Oh, they won't get me! Come here, Blackie boy! I'll square accounts with you some other time! Get up there! Get up! Get up! Oh, Silver! Oh, 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 no, I reckon not. Never mind me. Go get Osage. He was going to dry out you. He had his rifle leveled at you. He was going to kill you. Go get him. Steady, son. There's plenty of time to get him. I want to see how badly you're hurt. He hit you pretty hard. I, I'm all right. The nasty cut you got when you fell. It, it ain't nothing. Have a look at it, Tonto. Uh, Tonto, fix him. Me get water. I, I'll be all right, mister. Sure you will. Now, don't try to get up just yet. Stay right where you are until Tonto dresses that wound of yours. Why don't you get Osage? Go on, chase him while you got the chance. He's leaving a pretty clear trail. We can get him anytime. What's your name, lad? Well, they just call me Jack. Are you from Pecos? Yeah. How'd you happen to be here? 
I work in a cafe, sort of clean up the place in the morning and sweep the floor, and the boss lets me sleep in the woodshed. Haven't you any parents? No, sir. My folks was killed by engines. How did you know what Osage was going to do? I, I heard him talking in the cafe. Folks don't pay much attention to what I overhear. Who sent him? Wasn't his own idea to come and kill me, was it? No, sir. It was that crooked lawyer, Jasper Wellington. No, Hunter fixed wound. What did you do, Jack? Creep up behind him and jump on him before he got the chance to fire on us? Well, not exactly. I sort of jumped on his rifle. I figured if I could hang on to that, he wouldn't get the chance to shoot you. I see. Jack, you're a pretty brave boy. Oh, shucks. That wasn't nothing. You saved my life. I'm just doggone glad I happened to hear what was going on. But, Jack, tell me this. What's Osage going to do to you when you go back to town? But, mister, you're going to get Osage, ain't you? You'll drill him for trying to shoot you, won't you? No, Jack. Y you won't? No. I can't shoot a man in cold blood. But, but he tried to shoot you. There are laws to take care of men like him. There ain't no laws in Pecos. The only laws there are the ones Lawyer Wellington makes. Why, gosh, mister, you got to get old Sage. If you don't, he'll get you. We'll see about that, Jack. If you don't get him, I can't go back to Pecos no more. Suppose for the time being you stay with Tonto and me. You mean in your camp? Yes. Oh, gosh. Gosh, mister, you mean that? Yes, I think you might be able to tell me a lot about Jasper Wellington and his acquaintances in town. Mm, he's as mean as his sister is nice. Gosh, there ain't a finer woman in the whole state than Miss Celia. <gasps> uh, that hurt? It, it's all right, Jim. Wound plenty clean. Now you get well soon. You stay with Jack Tato. Make a camp here. I'm going to try and overtake Osage before he gets to Pecos. I, I don't think you'll have no trouble doing that, mister. Why? His hoss has a stone bruise. Bad one, too. Mm, that's what Tonto think. Did you tell that from the trail, Tonto? Not right. That hoss won't be able to carry him as far as Pecos. He'll have to lead it part of the way. Thanks, Jack. That'll help a lot. Mister? Yes, Jack? You ride away so, so fast when you're finished that nobody can speak to you. And what else have you got to say? There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. What is it, Jack? How'd you happen to name that horse? Silver? Yeah. What's the connection between him and the silver bullets you use sometimes? Jack, when I found this horse, he was making the most gallant, courageous fight I ever saw a horse or any other living creature make. He was? He was fighting a wild buffalo. Gosh. And reached the limit of his strength. I managed to shoot the buffalo. Then Tonto and I washed Silver's wounds, just as Tonto has washed yours. Then, then he stayed with you? No, Jack. Silver was a wild horse. He ran off as soon as his strength returned. Then how'd you catch him again? I didn't. I guess when Silver thought it over, he decided that he needed a friend just as much as I did. He came back of his own accord. When I saw him with the sun shining on his coat, he looked almost like metal. And his heart was so great and true that Silver just seemed to be the name to suit him. Then you didn't call him Silver on account of trying to tie up with the silver bullets and other things. By no means. Silver was named first, Jack. It wasn't until later that I began to use silver bullets and silver studding on them bridle and all the other things of silver. I always like to feel that those other things were simply a tribute to the finest horse that ever lived. Does that answer your question? It sure does. Yep, and I'll get after Osage. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger rode hard, and before long he found the place where the killer had been compelled to dismount and proceed on foot. Shortly afterwards, he saw the man himself on the trail ahead. Osage was waiting for him, an open fire. Come on, Silver! He can't hit us at this distance! I want you, Osage! Keep away, Blast! Throw down that gun! I won't be took! That's your last one! Now your gun's empty! Go on down! Go on there, Silver! Go on, go! Don't shoot, don't shoot! I want to talk to you! I surrender, you got me! Don't make a fast move! Go on, Texas kid! Go on, shoot me! Who sent you to ambush me? None of your business! It wasn't such a sneaking polecat I'd have stood up to you and shot it out. But dry guts and just a taste of your own medicine is what the Texas kid's noted for. You were gunning for the Texas kid, Osage. This calls for explanations. Ain't you him? Say, come to think of it, you don't sound like him. You got the same build and all, though. I'm not the Texas kid, Osage. And you and I are going to talk. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Out of 
continue our story. The Lone Ranger, having overtaken Osage, who had tried to kill him from ambush, waited for the killer's explanation. You thought when you tried to shoot me that I was the Texas kid? Yeah. Gosh, I heard that he was heading for Pecos, and there was a big reward for him, dead or alive. I needed that money. Who told you the Texas kid was coming to Pecos? No one. Uh, that is, I can't tell who. Not Jasper Wellington? Of course not. Now look at here, stranger. If you ain't the Texas kid, then I'm doggone glad I didn't get to drop you. Now thank that youngster for jumping on my rifle barrel. I've already thanked him. Has he gone on to Pecos? No. He won't be in Pecos for some time. I'll sure thank him when I see him. You can bet money on that. Uh, are you taking me to the law? What do you think I ought to do with you? Well, if I was in your boots and a man tried to drill me like that, stranger, I'd sure as blazes take him to the law, but... And Dad ratted wearing a mask like that. What else could I think but that you was a Texas kid? You haven't heard of anyone else that might wear a mask? Well, uh... You know, let me see. Leaping Jehoshaphat, you ain't... You don't mean to say you're the Lone Ranger. No, Sage, it looks to me as if you've been double-crossed by the man who sent you gunning for me. If I thought that is the case, what would I'd... you do? I'd go back and give him a working over that he would never forget. Wellington deserves it. He sure as thunder does. By the scheming polk yet, sending me to fight his battles for... Say, I never said it was Wellington that sent me. No, but you admitted it just now. Anyhow, I'll settle with him. Just you give me the chance to get him. That's all I ask. Let me show you that I was took in complete. Well, well, suppose you go and show me. You let me go? You'd better start traveling before I change my mind. I'll have to walk my horse. It'll take most of the afternoon to get to Pecos. Well, then, the sooner you start, the better. Come on, Silver. You're doggone. <laughs> now, that ain't good. <laughs> I took him in complete. Just wait till Wellington hears how I fooled him. As if I thought he was a Texas kid. <laughs> As if there ever was a Texas kid. <laughs> Late that afternoon, Celia found her brother sitting on the front porch of their home. She noticed a satisfied smile on his face and... Well, you don't seem to be worried about what the Lone Ranger's going to do when he gets here. <laughs> he isn't here yet, is he? No, but... Maybe he won't get here at all, Celia. Why should I worry until there's need to? What do you mean? The less you know about it, the better. You just mind your own business and you'll avoid a lot of trouble. You've planned trouble for him. <laughs> what have you done, Jeff? None of your business. Now go on back in the house. I see a friend of mine coming and I want to have a talk with him. Jasper Wellington, that's old sage. He's a killer. That's never been proved. If you send him to ambush that lone ranger... You go into the house, do you hear me? This is the end. If you've done what I think, I'll go tell the sheriff. I've had all I can stand of this sort of thing. You'll either get out of here or I will. Hmm. Time she got away anyway. Hey, Wellington, I looked for you in the cafe. Come on up here and tell me what's happened. Wellington, that blasted tramp kid from the cafe spoiled it all. Spoiled it? Snuck up behind me and jumped my rifle. I didn't get the Lone Ranger. Why, you bungling fool. Then my horse went lame and I was overtook by him. Where is he now? I reckon he's gone back where he come from or going into camp or something. And give him a yarn that he believed. What sort of yarn? Tell him I thought he was a Texas kid with a price on his head, did or a lie. And he believed that? Sure he did. Say, where's your sister? And she liked it over here? After the door closed. Go on, then what? He found out that you was the one told me the Texas kid was coming along the trail. You told him about me? Why, well, you count? Now, wait, Wellington. Count... Hold on a second, won't you? Listen to what I got to say. Well, go on. I told him I was coming back here and running you out in town. I told him I'd square things with you. Is he coming into Pecos? I don't know, but the chances are he will. He'll come here to make sure you're gone, and if you ain't, he'll get you yourself. Now, Wellington, you got to make yourself scarce. You bungled everything for me, Osage. I ought to see a jail for the way you handled this. I've done the best I could. I wonder how much that kid has told him. I don't know. Where is the kid? With a lone ranger, I reckon. Now, look here, Wellington. What you've got to do is get out in town for a ah, time. driven out by him. But you've got to do it. He'll come snooping around town to make sure you're gone. And if you're here, he's likely to make no end of trouble. If you're gone, he can't do nothing. I can tell him I sent you, don't you, Savvy? He'll believe my story then, and he'll go away. Then you can come back again. Wait a minute, old Sage. There ain't nothing else to do. Celia's been at me to clear out. Now, maybe... Uh... Maybe what, Wellington? Maybe I got an idea. I might pack up and let everyone know I'm clearing out. That's what I said. That's the only way to play it safe. Leave it a mean. Maybe I can get him when he's in terror. You listen to my plan. Do what you're told and see you don't bungle it again. What is it? Then I'll skip out of town, just as I say. Make everyone, including Celia, think I've gone for keeps. Yeah? I'll lay low, and then tonight I'll come back and get this lone ranger and hustle out of town again. Then, after a couple of weeks, I'll drift back into town and claim I've changed my mind. That I'm not going to stay away. Yeah? I'll have an alibi, but I'll have a disposed of this lone ranger. Ginger, that's a good idea. When he's killed, you'll be suspected if Jack says anything. But you'll have an alibi for the time of his death. That sounds real slick. I'll go pack some things right now. I'll be out of town before dark. You hang around, keep your eyes open. 
If the Lone Ranger comes into town, be sure you know where he's at so you can tell me when I come back sometime tonight. I sure enough will, Wellington. I sure will. Celia. Celia, where are you? What is it, Jasper? Come here. Give me a hand. I'll need your help. Well, what is it? I've got to leave town. I've got to leave in a hurry. Help me pack my things. You're really leaving? Yes. You don't need to ask where I'm going because it ain't none of your business. Oh, I don't care where you go as long as you go. It'll seem most too good to be true to have you out of the house. I'll help you pack all right. I'll be glad to do it. That night, the Lone Ranger, Jack and Tonto, made camp not far from Pecos. The masked man was silent. He sat apart from his companions for some time. And then suddenly he rose to his feet and came closer to the campfire. Jack. Yes, sir? Are you sure of everything you told me? Yes, sir. I didn't tell you nothing I wasn't sure of. That fellow Osage had a different story. Him say him want Texas kid. Yes, he didn't tell the truth. Not right. And he didn't mean a word he said when he told me he'd deal with Wellington when he got back to town. Not right. I think it's about time we moved into Pecos and investigated things there. Don't you do it, mister. Don't you do it. Old Sage will shoot you from ambush. He won't give you a chance. Maybe he won't get the chance to shoot me, Jack. I tell you, he's got to get you. Wellington will make him. If he don't, Wellington will likely see him jailed or maybe hung. We'll see about that, Jack. Why don't you let me go instead? Why don't you let me go there and see what I can learn? They wouldn't dare kill me. Jack, I think I will send you to Pecos. In your place? No, ahead of me. I want you to help me. Gosh, yes. Anything in the world I can do for you, I want you to tell old Sage where he can find me. Here? No. No, Jack. I'm going to be in the hotel. But you can't go there wearing that mask. I won't wear the mask, Jack. I'm going to disguise my face, go into the hotel, and get a room to spend the night in. And I'm to tell old Sage that? Yes. You got scheme? Tato, old Sage is a murderer, but it's never been proved. Perhaps the sheriff will be glad of the chance to get proof. When... When he gets you? We'll see about that, Jack. Here, Silver. Get your horse, Tonto. Here's Carl. Cinch up. I'll put out the fire and pack our things. It's time for us to head for Pecos. When he had disguised himself and ridden with Tonto into Pecos, the Lone Ranger had no difficulty in renting a room at the hotel. Later, he helped Tonto through the window. By that time, Jack had found the sheriff on the porch of the cafe. The lawman listened attentively to the boy's message. And... I took it, Jack. That's sure enough news. I'm right glad to hear it. You help? Help? Sure I'll help. Old Sage is right inside the cafe this very minute. Oh. He's seen you and me talking. Likely he'll come nosing around as soon as you leave. So you leave now. Looks like he ain't waiting. There he comes now. Even here. Here now. Reckon you already heard all the talk around the town. What is that? How I sent Wellington a kiting on his way. Mm, I heard something about it. I don't reckon he'll ever show himself around here again. He double-crossed me. If it hadn't been for the kid there, I'd have shot a right upstanding man. Ain't that so, Jack? Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir, e, Jack. Just stop me in time. When I seen it, Wellington had sent me to do his killing for him and lied about the man I was to shoot, making me think I was killing an outlaw. I swore to get Wellington. So he moved out in town to get away from you. Just so, and good riddance. I suppose that's why the Lone Ranger come into town, too. He did? Sure, he's rooming at the hotel. I never heard that. Well, he's disguised, but that's where he's spending the night. Well, if Wellington comes back, I reckon he'll sure enough get a red-hot reception. If one of us don't get him, the other one will. I gotta be going now, Sheriff. I'll see you soon. Yeah, maybe soon you expect. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger had put on his mask. He and Tonto crouched in the gloom of the hotel room, tense, alert, and ready. Then a shadow fell across the open window, and a dark form paused to study the room. Suddenly, there was a rifle shot. Grab that rifle. Me got him. Let me go. Let go of me. Hold him, Tonto. I'll get a rope on him. Me got him. Let me hold him. Let me go. Let me go. Not this time, old sage. You're trapped at last. I'll hold you into the room. Yeah, I tell you, you got the wrong man. Get that lab going, Tonto. Oh, you get him. We thought you'd come back to finish the job Jack prevented. Oh, no, you got the wrong oh, man. Oh, no, we haven't. You fired point blank at the dummy in that bed. You planned to murder me. Jack let you know where you could find me. They're right. You! I ain't Osage. Wellington. There he is, mister. We got Osage. Oh, 
Osage. Osage, you devil crossing. There's Lord, Wellington, now. Osage. You said you was gunning for him. Yes, sheriff, I, I wasn't. Well, I... what are you going to do? Stand there or shoot the critters? You said you would. So you squealed on me. You put this man wise. You told the sheriff. Now, wait, Wellington. I didn't do no such thing. Didn't you say you wanted to get Wellington for sending you to drill a lone ranger and making you think it was the Texas kid? Sheriff, Wellington, Osage I... he's a killer. He's a crook and I'll prove it. He won't squeal on me and get away with it. Well, looks to me like you're both a couple of crooks. And it looks like we at last got evidence to jail you. How about it, mister? I thought Osage would come to the window and try to get me. Well, that is what I thought had happened. But Osage met Wellington just outside the town. And Wellington himself come back to step in the trap. That's what you get for trying to do the thing yourself. So now we got them both where we wanted them for a long, long time. Where's Jack? Is he all right? Sure. When I got all I wanted, I sent him to see Miss Celia and tell her to get here and see her no-count brother Ketch if she had any doubts as to his guilt. I didn't want that poor girl to think he was misjudged. I wouldn't have thought that. Celia, you here? You've got to explain. All I can say, Jasper, is that I'm glad you're no more than a half-brother. I'm satisfied to let the law take its course. All right, boys. Take these killers to the calaboose. Now, well, Jack. Yeah? I'm going to try and find a good place for you to live. Some family who want a great fellow like you. So you won't have to live in the cafe woodshed. Jack. How would you like to have a nice home of your own and the chance to learn reading and writing and the other things a man ought to know? Gosh, it'd be pretty swell. Then you shall have one. Huh? You heard what the Lone Ranger said, didn't you? Just like you are now, all alone in the world with a nice big home to live in. Wouldn't you like to live there, Jack? You mean just like you... like you was my mom? Yes. Oh, gosh. Come on there, silver old boy! Someone's waiting on the trail ahead! Hi, old silver! How are you? just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.